Algebraic identities example 4. Equal polynomial expressions have equal parameters. So given that x minus t to be squared is a factor of the cubic x cubed plus 3p plus c, we're to show particular things. Well, let's expand the x minus t squared first. So we square the first part, that would be x squared, multiply the two things and double it, that would be minus 2tx, and square the second thing, that would be plus t squared. And that's equal to the cubic that's given. Now the cubic is a little bit unusual in that there's no x squared term. So I must just write it out maybe with a 0x squared term because it would be easier to um, divide into it then. So we have an x cubed, we have no x squared, 0x squared, plus 3px plus c. So if this quadratic is a factor of the given cubic, what that means it will divide in with no remainder. I'm going to use the array model to do this division. So we have the quadratic factor on top. We're going to place the cubic inside the array. So the x cubed term goes in the first box and in the far box plus c, the constant term. So let's start dividing. x squared goes into x cubed x times. Now let's multiply x by negative 2tx will be negative 2tx squared. And x by t squared will be t squared x. Now we divide t squared into c, so c divided by t squared, well that's what it is. And again, let's multiply. So that we have c t squared times x squared. When we multiply c t squared by negative 2 tx, we see that there is a, a t above and below, so they would divide in giving 1. So it's going to be negative 2 c divided by t times x. Now we know the cubic that's inside this array must be equal to the given cubic in the question. So that means the x squared terms must be equal. So let's compare the x squared terms. So the coefficients of x squared inside the array must add up to the coefficient in the given. So that's c divided by t squared minus 2t. We just have to look at the coefficients here. Must be equal to 0. So that's an equation. Now I see one of the questions asks us to express c in terms of t cubed. So let's rearrange this to write, uh, make c the subject of the formula. So add 2t to both sides and multiply across by t squared. And I see c is equal to 2t cubed. And that's what we were asked in the question. So we've proven the first thing. Now the next step is, as well as the x squared coefficients being equal, the x coefficients must be the same. So inside the box, we have a t squared x and a negative 2c divided by tx, and that must be equal to the 3px in the given equation. So comparing the coefficients, we can say that t squared minus 2c over t must be equal to 3p. Now the question is asking us to express p in terms of t squared. So I'm going to replace the c with the 2t cubed that we found out it is. So now we'll be able to write the equation just in terms of our t's and p. And tidying this up, we see t goes into t cubed. So I end up with t squared minus 4t squared. Uh, adding t squared to negative 4t squared gives us negative 3t squared. And dividing across by p we see that p is equal to negative t squared. We've proven what we've been asked to prove. 